finally back out to playing in the garage. Uh, I've been real busy with work and school and been sick, so just kind of getting over that. So I apologize for not making more videos recently. And I've had uh, quite a few questions on setting the timing on one of these XR100s. Finally got this up and going, so I'll make a video real soon on this as well. So I've got a engine right here. This is off of a XR80. Your XR80s and 100s are going to be the same. Um, now what I've got, all I've done is ta I've taken the top cover off right there, and I pulled this side cover off. Now what I'm going to do is if you look at the top of this sprocket, you see that little circle. That's very important. And you have this little tab right here. And if you look on your flywheel over here, you have a T mark and an F mark. And you can also see those right here. So now to set the timing, if you look down in here, you have your camshaft, which your timing chain sprocket is attached to. I've got one right here to kind of let you see it a little better. Now when you're setting your timing, it's very important to have these two cam lobes right here pointed down at top dead center. So right now, they're pointed down that timing marks lined up pretty good and this line set up right here now I've seen I've seen these 80s and 100 some of them will have a reference little notch right here you see that little triangle I've also seen them where it's about right here on other bikes so depending on the year you're gonna have to watch for that so what you'll do is you'll rotate your flywheel here until you get see I've rotated it 180 and it's lined up right there but you can see here the circles not lined up and my cam lobes are both pointed up that's not what you want you want to make sure them cam lobes are down see it's still moving right there you see the cam moving the rocker arm rotating so that's still on the exhaust stroke so when you're setting your chain look at this little circle mark right there and the T here and I pull my spark plug out so it's a lot easier to rotate the crank over so the T's lined up the circles lined up you can tell it's not completely even looking like um, this engine may need the timing chain adjusted there might be a lot of slack in it so if you're having a lot of trouble trying to get it perfect on there uh, it might be about time to get that timing chain replaced so um, and I've also heard a trick if you pull your spark plug out get you a light I know you ain't gonna be able to see this but <clears throat> look in there at the piston and also verify that it's up and when you are at top dead center you should be able to wiggle the crank just a little bit like this and you see that piston and it won't move at all that's also a good indication um, so there's a little quick basic on uh, setting the timing and while I got this all out I'll go ahead and show you a little bit about adjusting your timing chain now to adjust your timing chain you have an adjuster right here for more of the fine tuning and you have an adjuster right here which you'll start with if uh, it's pretty bad now you can't really see in there so I've actually got some of the chain guides and the adjuster right here now this little flat one it'll be in here on this side to ride that side of the chain and this one this little screw here is what you have right here and this works as a little locking mechanism for it and you see this rod here it's spring loaded so if you're if you 
loosen up this 10 millimeter here you can rotate this and what this will do it will push your chain or the tensioner closer to the chain to reduce the chatter and everything so um, if you rotate this and you aren't getting anything go ahead and tighten it up go ahead and uh, loosen up this uh, 12 right here and you'll back out this flathead and what that does it has a bolt that catches right here on this so if, uh, if there's room for adjustment you loosen that up and this will self adjust with this spring go ahead and tighten the flathead back up tighten your 12 and then go back and try adjusting it up here now you don't want it too tight because you're just going to wear your guides out real quick um, and if you uh, you keep if you do that back and forth and you still can't get it to quiet down might be about time to replace your timing chain or it can also be your valves chattering and uh, adjust your valves make sure your engines cold if you've been riding it or whatever just let it sit overnight or something like that line up your sprocket here verify on your cam or your crank that you're at top dead center and if you're at top dead center engines cold you should have slight play in your rocker arms here and uh, I'll, I'll put down the specs for this and I'll go ahead and edit that in for your intake and exhaust uh, valve but you'll loosen this little lock nut here put your feeler gauge down in here in the bottom and tighten down the little bolt right here right on top to the correct spec with your feeler gauge and you'll do that on your intake and exhaust side and uh, that might help quiet it down if you get a little chatter but these are good engines right here as long as you keep oil in them and adjust your valves and everything and don't let that timing chain get too sloppy they'll run a long time so there's a little bit of information on it um, if you need anything else let me know I'll try to help you out um, thanks for watching please comment and rate it and I keep making them take care